Hello, I'm Kaylin Gabriel with Shinyata Research, and this is the Hydra Titan. Today, what we're going to demonstrate is the electrical characteristics of the Titan, well, specifically the lack of reactants of a Titan. Conventional power conditioners use filters that are composed of capacitors, inductors, transformers, and these all have characteristics impedance curves and they can be reactive with different types of components especially amplifiers. So what we're going to demonstrate here today is the lack of capacitance and the lack of inductive reactants of a Typhon. <clears throat> I have a Hyoki impedance analyzer here and this will allow us to look at the resistance, the capacitance, and the inductance of the Typhon. I'm going to turn the Typhon around so we can access the port on the back. And let's just move the impedance analyzer, put it right up on top of the Typhon so that you guys can see it easily. So, let's zoom in a little bit here. And uh, you'll see on this menu, right now it's set for... Okay, hold it still, there we go, there we go. Uh, right now it's set for total impedance, and we're going to set it for capacitance. And now, we're going to take the probes and we're going to connect them to the neutral and the hot of the Typhon so that we can get a reading. Now if you look at the display, you can see that the analyzer is searching. It's trying to find a capacitance reading and it's having trouble doing that. So right now it's looking down in the picofarad range, which is very low. And as you can see, it keeps searching, keeps searching, gets confused, and starts all over. This indicates that it, that it can't find any capacitive reactance of the unit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect it. And um, I'm going to change to inductance reading. So... And we'll connect it back up again and see if we can get a reading on the inductance of the unit. And you'll see that the unit is starting its search. It's trying to auto range. It's searching all the different ranges. It's searching high. It's searching low. Trying to find reading. And as you can see, uh, it's unsuccessful. In other words, it can't get an inductance reading. And lastly, we're going to disconnect it and change the to resistance and see if we can get any type of static resistance reading off the Typhon. We'll connect it back up again. And you'll see it's auto-ranging, searching, and it can't get a reading. So essentially, according to our impedance analyzer, you can see that we can't measure capacitance, we can't measure inductance, and we can't measure a resistance. So effectively, the Typhon doesn't have any reactants, and yet it can dramatically reduce the perceived noise in an audio system. Thank you. Thank you.